Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. Just wanted to discuss a couple of things here. We have a good example of what happens when a stock moves below 30.9 on the RSI. For example, here we can see that this is a four hourly chart for Bitcoin. And we can see that it dropped here. If we can, right here is where it moved below RSI 30.9. And as a consequence of breaking below 30.9, we can see that we see a huge drop after that. And the fact that it still remains below 30.9 means that we can still expect it to be sideways to down. Now, it so happens that this also coincides with movement of the main MACD moving below the zero MACD line. So we see that, again, momentum is bearish as you drop below the MACD zero line, which again corresponds to this period here before we see this 1,000 point drop over the last couple of days. So as long as the MACD also remains pretty much below zero, the tendency is for sideways to down action. Now, if we take a look at the daily chart, we can also see the daily dropped below 30.9 and by dropping below 30.9 you can see the reaction in price we have this huge down day why because we dropped below the rsi level of 30.9 and we know that as long as it is holding below 30.9 on the daily time frame the pressure continues to be sideways to down as long as it is below 30.9 another way of saying that the way the only way it recovers or starts recovering is once it holds support and moves back above 30.9 just like it did when it bounced above the 30.9 level here for a short term entry so you can't expect a bounce as long as it is trading below 30.9 the best thing to do if you want to go along for a short term trade would be to wait for it to move back above 30.9 and if we take a look at the daily macd so one thing we can see here because we had a crossover which i was telling my paid subscribers that this was not a good crossover what you want to see is a failed crossover attempt and then this high is where you would use as your next entry so at some point down the road when bitcoin on the daily moves above this recent macd high movement above that recent macd high would be where you'd want to go long for a swing trade so again for the macd take note here this is where we are failing right now this node this top so you want to wait for the macd to move above this level before giving you a better entry level we can also see from this example what happened when the macd moved below zero and held below zero prices have been sideways to down sideways to down sideways to down as long as the macd remains below zero i'm gonna include a link in the description of the video giving you more information and more details about how to read the macd eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s Woo.